everybody! So today I wanted to do a makeup tutorial, that's what I was doing originally, but I just, since today I gave myself a facial, I decided to review products that I've done, that I used, and this is not a product placement video, really. Well, kind of is, but no one's paying me to do this, I promise. Um, I'm just going to review all the products that I used, that I used for my facial, and kind of go step to step what I did. And um, the reason why my voice sounds so funny, it sounded worse the other day because I have this, I have really bad allergies or a cold or whatever, I don't know. And um, so if I cough into this, I'm sorry. And a facial is a great way to actually help you feel better, to make you have self-confidence or whatever. Alright, right, so let's get started. Now first of all, what I always do is I cleanse my face. So obviously I have a bowl of water right here. Yeah, sorry. And um, I use soap. I use this um, it's from Bath and Body Works. It's I always use this on my face every morning, every night, now, every day, every day actually. It's my it's more vanilla sugar. It's antibacterial, gentle foaming soap. It's a lightweight foam, to gently cleanses the hands and kills germs. It's it, you can use it on your hands too. So awesome! I love this stuff. After that, I apply. Um, I don't usually put masks on, so it's not considered really facial, but to me it is. I put on a moisturizer, and it's really just lotion, but same thing, you know, <laughs> kind of. I guess they're both a little different, one's made gentler, but I've always used lotion, it's fine. So I got this from, where did I get this from? Victoria's Secret? No, Bath and Body Works, I forgot. Um, yeah, it's the new one, Paris Amour, I don't know. And I, we were, me and my friends were the first ones to get it. This is just like a little sample size. I mean, they have bigger ones now. Hold on. They're about like this big. And they're like $19. And these are only like a dollar. So I'm like, sold. So I got those. Um, now, then after that, what I do is I usually put these cotton swabs. And put them in hot, hot water. I have very baggy. They're not really baggy. These are more... Baggy eyes are more of like dark circles because I don't get enough sleep at night. <laughs> so like, I put them right in my eyes like this and lay back and cut, sometimes I'll fall asleep with them on. Then I take them off and after that I apply Garnier Skin Review Anti-Puff stuff. It's supposed to make your eyes look more awake in the morning. I apply this every night, every morning because when I go to school, I'm, I look so tired. I try to hide the fact that I'm tired so people aren't like, Oh, you're tired. Why should you be at school? And they don't do that. But anyways, yeah. And, after, and the last thing I put on is my toner. Like my face toner. It's a Pore Perfect toner. It's, it's brand new. What's that brand new? It was, came out like in December, I think, January. I don't know. It's by, it's Dixon's. It's, yeah, Pore Perfecting toner. And it gently cleanses and conditions pores to maintain clear, smooth, and balanced skin. And it actually does. It's 100% all natural, obviously. And it's oil free, so it doesn't give you the. You want the soft feel of your skin. You don't want it to be, feel like oily, so it feels all. Because I have naturally oily skin. Whenever I use products, I have to be careful. Because if I put too much on, it's just going to make it oily. Oily? More oily than it already is. So, um, yeah, that's basically what I do for my facial. And another thing is, though, that I do sometimes use a mask, but. My skin's not in that bad shape, because here, I'll show you. My skin's actually really clear. I don't have that many breakouts, but it's just a self-confidence thing. I usually give myself a facial probably once or twice a month, really. Um, I, w I would do, if you're like one of those people that have really bad skin and you need to, like, schedule when you're going to do it so you can have clear skin, I'd recommend getting a journal. This isn't even that kind of journal. It's just a school journal. I would recommend getting a journal, writing in it, let's see what's in here, so, and writing in it every day, um, about, like, not every day, when you have a facial or what products you use, and schedule yourself so, like, you know when to do it. That's just my advice. And, um, also, oh, since 